Hello guys, my name is Josh Gomez and I'm with Blooming Studios and today I will be giving you a tutorial on how to prepare your monologue for the auditioner. Alright, you are in the jungle. I'm a thistle sifter. One. Loosen the jaw. <laughs> so now, a lot of times you won't have to do a monologue. Sometimes they'll have like sides ready that you can just read. But I've gone into an audition before and the auditioner will say to me, hey, do you have another piece that we could see? And a monologue is just good to have something, you know, you have it to like, just drop right there. So the first thing you need to do is find a piece you want to work on. Now, if you're preparing like and they want a monologue at the audition, you probably want to pick a monologue that's a lot like the show, but not from the show. So if they're doing Hamlet, you don't want to necessarily pick to be or not to be one of like the most famous, you know, monologues in the show. And it's kind of sometimes directors will take it as arrogant if you show up and you know, hey, I got this monologue from your show, and let me show you how it's done, kind of thing. I will be portraying the character of Hamlet in Hamlet. Thank you. To be or not to be, that is the question, whether it is no blue Okay, mind. Josh, 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 okay, so, I want you to do it again, but this time can you tone it down a little bit, just a little lower? What do you mean, tone down the energy? It's, it's, it's Hamlet! Enthusiasm's I mean. good, but we want it to be a little more subtle. Uh, okay. You want me to come back in and do it, so it looks good, or? So it's probably wise to pick something else. So, and once you have your piece picked, and I have Hamlet today, um, you need to break it up into beats. Now, what a beat is, is when someone usually changes tactic during the course of the monologue. So, in Hamlet, he goes on, to be or not to be, that is the question, whether it is noble in the mind, suffer, and then he gets to, and by opposing, end them. So when he says, and by opposing, end them to me, and you can decide where the beats are for you, it's different for everyone, that's a beat change. And usually when a beat changes, you change tactic. And what a tactic is, let's say that in this run through, I want to be like, okay, when I say to be or not to be, I want to insult whoever I'm talking to. And usually, you know, if it's a soliloquy, no one's around, but that's usually just in Shakespeare. But in most monologues, you're talking to someone else, or you want to believe that you're talking to someone else. So you'll play the, I'm going to insult you right here. And when you have a beat change, you change what your tactic is. So if you were like something like, I want to insult, now you can change it to, I want to poison you or with my words or something like that, just to keep it interesting. And the more tactics you have, overall, the better your monologue will be when you present it, because you'll be more interesting. Um, okay, uh, so... And when you get in there and you're trying new things and you're, you know, or you have your thing already ready, your monologue, if the director stops you and says, hey, I kind of want to see this differently, I want you to try something else, don't be afraid to stop and, you know, do what the director tells you to. I know sometimes it's hard as the actor, you know, if you're in your zone and then all of a sudden someone stops you, it can kind of make you mad because you've, you know, you've rehearsed all this time, but don't be afraid to stop and try new things. You know, have you ever tried... Maybe considering the role of Richard III. I played Richard III, okay? I don't want to play Richard III again, that's why I'm auditioning for Hamlet. Alright, well, let's do it again from the top. No! You know what? I'm not doing it again! I'm not doing it again! You know, that's basically one of the reasons you will get hired or fired is if you're willing to work or not willing to work. Um, I think the last thing I want to talk about is the subtlety while, while any acting. Uh, especially when compared to like theater or film. For theater, you can be a little more, you know, to be or not to be. That is the question. For film, 
like even now you're so close to me i don't really have to you know project or in like come to you to get my point across you can come to me to be or not to be that is the question so when you work on a monologue with film or a scene with film, you know, it can be like a normal conversation. It doesn't have to be as humongous. So um, make sure you break your stuff into beats. You have your tactics and ready and make sure you have your objective, what you're fighting for, all set up for your monologue. And I wish you the best of luck, guys. Hopefully this video helps and have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.